Hey everybody, thank you for dropping into Deep IDV. My name is Matthew. Welcome. Glad you are here. On this channel, we like to talk about simple crypto passive income strategies that are implemented on blockchains with utility, use cases, and solve business problems. If you like that type of content, subscribe here or follow me at DeFi Divi on Twitter. As always, none of this is investment advice, and I am not an investment advisor. Let's get into it. Pangolin to launch on Hedera, fueling an epicenter of innovation and growth. I'm excited about this. If you are an H barbarian, I bet you are excited too. Look at this uh, Pangolin announcement, new chain announcement, and I quote, Pangolin will launch on Hedera. We're deploying our decentralized exchange, focusing on user-friendly decentralized tools and products with multi-chain scalability to Hedera soon. Didn't look and see if there's an announcement date yet, but I will check that out very shortly. And if you don't know, if you're newer to HBAR, if you're newer to crypto, uh, if you're newer to Hedera, HBAR is the native token of the Hedera Hashgraph distributed ledger technology, smart contract blockchain, DLT. It, you, it's governed by some of the biggest organizations in the world that we've all heard of. Google, IBM, Avery Dennison, Denton's, Deutsche Telekom. Looks like the T-Mobile logo there to me. Uh, Ubisoft, Zane. If you're in crypto, you've heard of Chainlink. I don't think the rest of the world knows about Chainlink yet, but that's huge. This thing is built by giants and it is a distributed ledger technology that targets giants. Solving problems for enterprise. And if you're a viewer of this channel, you know I love that because I do believe that the projects that crack and solve the biggest problems for enterprise first are going to probably be the first to, to achieve mainstream adoption. And when this mainstream adoption happens, I don't even know. I don't believe the public will be aware of HBAR. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. A lot of investors will. And, but I don't think we're going to be buying our Starbucks coffee with HBAR. What I do think is that a lot of the public will be using the, the, main, the main population, the mass populace, if you will, will be using HBAR under the hood and they won't even know it. That's my opinion. Much like how right now, when you view a website, you're using TCP IP packet under the hood and you don't know you're using that. And so this will just be an exchange of a currency under the hood, paying the network fees, running, helping run the system. On top of it all, the public might not even know. That's how I think this is going to play out in the future. But if you look at the Hedera network ecosystem, I mean, it is just growing and growing and growing from DeFi apps that all of us can use um, to enterprise applications. And this is where I get super geeked up. I love to see enterprise applications built, micropayments for small value transactions. I believe Hedera is a great project to build a micropayment solution on um, due to how fast this thing is. Data Hash, Australian agriculture supply chain platform. This is another, Hedera Hashgraph is another great project for a use case such as supply chain tracking due to the transaction speed and the low fees. Another supply chain platform, ABC Global, Alliance Block, protocol to bridge DeFi and traditional finance. We're going to need that. Acer, solving healthcare challenges with open data. Healthcare. Healthcare is, is so badly in need of a single source of truth. I don't know if you've been through the healthcare, been through runarounds in the healthcare system lately, but it's still very, I mean, outdated in, in the most sophisticated places where you move a parent or something from one hospital to the next and they don't have half the data. It's just, we need a single source of truth. And Hedera is on top of it. This is going to be a great choice for that. So many good things, so many good things. And so I'm excited about this Pangolin thing because it's another room. It's another area for us to diversify as investors, as DeFi investors. And if you look on uh, DeFi Llama, you can see that um, Pangolin here on Avalanche is a top 10 DEX, right? So Wonderland's leading it, Ave, we've heard of them. Trader Joe's up there. That's, that's a fun one. But Pangolin here is at number eight. So they're doing strong. They're doing well. They have $28 million in total value locked. That's after a big, you know, bear market crash. So it's not bad at all. 
And yeah, here they are. Um, they have they're integrated with Avalanche. That was the first one. They're integrated with Songbird, which is the Canary Network for Flare and Flare. Flare. They're going to be building on that one as well. Um, the Flare Big Flare Airdrop is coming this week. If you're in that community, you know I talk about Flare a lot. So this is all exciting. And so yeah, you can see how how they have total value locked here of 28 million, and that they're ranking in the top 10 on Avalanche, which is great. If you look at the Hedera, you can see the Hedera platform, a total of 75 million locked in the platform. And right now, Stater has a lot of that with 50 million. And then Saucer Swap coming in at number two with 17 million. Heli Swap with uh, 5.4 mil. Bubble Swap with 1.4 mil. And then Tangent, which is 9,000 TVL. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, and now we're going to have another one in the list here soon, which will be Pangolin. I have a feeling Pangolin is going to probably bump up to number two pretty fast. Maybe number one, who knows, could it take it over? I don't know. But the more we can diversify here, like I, the better. I think I mentioned this earlier. Diversification is very important, especially in DeFi, because it's so new. And I feel like the more we can spread out our capital into different protocols. Not only do we we reduce our risk if one has a hack or something bad goes down. You can do you can do well putting all your eggs in one basket, but just don't recommend it. I'm probably not telling you anything you don't already know. But yeah, so this is exciting. Now if you've never used Pangolin, it looks pretty intuitive. Uh you can see you know, it's just like many of these uh, DEXs. You just connect your MetaMask wallet and you're taken to a dashboard where you can see your balance and what's happening there. And then you have this side navigation on the left where you can do swaps. Uh, you can buy. So if you click on the pool and farm navigation element, you're taken to, the, to a list of different Pools you can delegate, deploy capital to, and it has the yields on here. For example, in the top left, you have USDC AVAX pool, and it's paying 16% uh, APR. You get your rewards and PNG tokens, and then you can go ahead and farm those out to earn additional yield on top of that. So yeah, there's plenty of different pairs in here. You can see all kinds of different reward rates. For example, Pangolin AVAX, 21%. APR. So it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun DeFi, a lot of standard stuff we all know how to do. That's bridging, place to receive airdrops, charts, all kinds of good stuff. So it's pretty exciting. It's exciting for Pangolin. It's exciting for HBAR. And these are exciting times for HBAR, in my opinion, because right now we are looking at a HBAR price of 3.8 cents. I mean, that's amazing. I, I'm going to make myself dollar cost average in on some more. I, my last H bar purchase was about, oh, I want to say it was about 4.8 cents. So we're, we're exactly a cent lower. It's time for me to buy more. I think this thing might grind sideways for a little while. I could be wrong, though. Who knows? It could, you know, have a spike anytime. Yeah, we are talking about prices right now, 3.8 cents that we haven't seen. We, that we haven't seen, I mean, back in October of 2019, you could get it for 3.7 cents. And then all of us were kicking ourselves here. I was, I was late to HBAR. I started buying up here just because I was too focused on other cryptocurrencies. And I had heard of HBAR, but I was, you know, the, you only, I only have so much time to devote to researching a project. And I'm not just going to jump in based on some, some Twitter influencers. So, but I finally got around to researching this here, here, here. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I, I'm going to FOMO in. In a, you know, I'll buy it around. I think I started buying it around 45 cents. And, uh, but I wasn't concerned. I'm like, yeah, I could see how this thing could, could go up to $5 sometime in the future. And, uh, and then, you know, it started crashing and crashing and crashing with the rest of the bear market. And I definitely made myself start DCAing in right around, I think, 15 cents all the way down to, you know, like I said, all through here, I bought it four cents, I bought it seven cents. So right now my dollar cost average is around eight, eight, nine cents. Not too bad. And now that we're three cents, I'm going to buy some more so I can lower this down even more. And, and while I'm not buying and buying these dips and DCAing in, I'm also staking through Hashpack and some earning some, some, 
some good, easy, simple crypto passive income right through there. So my H bar is growing either way. And yeah, here's a fantastic opportunity to DCAN. I love this. I love this. Exciting times for H bar. Exciting times for us H barbarians. So good news for Pangolin. Good news for Hedera. Okay, everybody, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.